Good morning, my friends. Welcome back. Today, we're going book shopping, and I'm so excited. I don't think I've ever filmed, like, a dedicated book shopping video before, and I thought today we could go to Big W, Dimmix, and QBD, have a look at the books, and maybe pick up a few. I don't want to go, like, too crazy, but equally, I have a gift card for Dimmix, and there are multiple books that I've had my eye on for a while, so I have a list. I'm going to try and only get books that I've, like, really been eyeing off. You guys know that I went on a book buying bin in June, and I've bought a couple books since then, but I haven't gone too crazy, so I feel like today it'll just be fun to go and buy a few. I'm thinking like five or six. To be completely honest, I feel like I've just been looking at my TBR cart recently and like there's not a lot that's really standing out to me. I don't know if it's just like the mood that I'm in or like the books themselves. I don't think it's the books. I think it's the mood that I'm in. But I'm just kind of like, let's get excited again. Let's get inspired. And to do that, obviously, we've got to go book shopping. I don't make the rules. I just follow them. And as we always say, reading and book shopping are two very different hobbies and I love them both. So let's go see what we can find today. A bit of Mac Miller for the drive. So tired of being so tired. Just arrived at my first stop which is big w we're gonna go in here and see what they have big w can be amazing but it just depends how well stocked their shelves are and they also don't have the same variety as the other bookstores that we're going to today so i thought it would be a good place to start because i've got my eye on a few books here but we'll see what they have today Honestly, we've been to one store and I feel like we've already been so successful. I got three books from there, two of which were on my list specifically to get from Big W and one that just caught my eye and then I've seen a few times on TikTok, so I'm intrigued. But I'll probably wait till the end to show you my haul. But I'm gonna head to another shopping center now that has Dimix and QBD. Let's go. Success at Dimmix. I ended up getting three books. I also did go into QBD and have a look because there were a few books that I didn't see in Dimmix that I wanted to see if they had at QBD but they also didn't have them so I didn't get anything from there. But I am going to head home and then I'll give you guys a haul. 
once we get back. I am going to interrupt this video for just a second to thank today's sponsor. A huge thank you to Casefy for sponsoring this little part of the video. Guys, I'm so excited about these. They are so cute. First up, we have this one, which looks like an oil painting or something. I also have this one, which is super simple. We also have this one. And guys, I know you're going to be obsessed with this because I'm obsessed with it. It's definitely like my favorite case I have ever had. And it is this one. I think I want to put this one on my phone right now because I'm obsessed with it. You're joking, that is so stinking cute. Obviously, I just showed you a few of the ones that I picked out, but they have literally over 2,000 designs to choose from, so I feel like there's honestly something for everyone. And you can even customize your case to have your name or something like that on it. They also have a range of different protection levels. This one is just called the Impact Case, so it's very sleek. And this one is the Ultra Impact, which I would definitely recommend if you feel like you need a little bit more protection, because it has these extra bumpers on the corners here. But both the Impact and the Ultra Impact Impact are drop test approved for up to 3.5 meters, which is absolutely insane. Maybe we'll test out the new phone case with a quick little drop test right now. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to drop it from 3.5 meters, but I'm going to drop it from as high as I possibly can. And as you guys can see, there's no cracks or anything on my phone right now. This feels so wrong. Still absolutely perfect, so... Thank you, Casetify. Casetify has also been kind enough to give me a code to share with you guys. So if you want to save 15% off your own Casetify order, you can use the code 15 Rachel Catherine. And I'll also have a link down below for you guys in the description. And let's get back to the book shopping. Whole time. Obviously I'm home now and I wanted to show you the books that I ended up picking up. I didn't find everything that I was looking for and I tried to restrain myself from buying more than I bought. I ended up getting six books, which I think like I'm, I'm happy with that. I kind of told myself like no more than five or six, but it was really hard because there were so many other books that I wanted to get. I'll start off with the three that I got from BW. I think I mentioned there were two that I was specifically going into BW to find and I found both of those and then one other one that just kind of stood out to me that I wanted to check out. So the first one that I I actually went in for is Five Survive by Holly Jackson. I know a little bit about this, but not too much. If you haven't heard of Holly Jackson, she is the author of the Good Girl's Guide to Murder trilogy. And as far as I'm aware, this is her most recent release, but it's still quite a few months old. And I don't really know why I haven't picked it up yet, because I really enjoyed the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series, and I've heard really good things about this. But recently, I picked up The Box in the Woods by Maureen Johnson, which is a YA mystery, and I just had so much fun with it, and I kind of forgot how much I enjoyed reading YA mysteries specifically and when I was trying to remember if there are any other YA mysteries that I haven't read yet I realized that I still haven't read this one so I was like you know what I know that Big W has that one so I'm gonna get that and so I'm really excited to read this I think it's like six people go on a road trip and only five survive but I'm not I'm not sure I feel like a lot of people binge this and I'm excited to have like a really bingeable book and it's really not too long at all but yeah this just looks like a bit of fun then the other one that I had on my list that I really wanted to get is this one which is Princess of Souls by Alexandra Christo. I really love the cover of this book, but this author also wrote To Kill a Kingdom, which I loved. I rated 4.5 stars. I don't know if this author has other books, but obviously she also wrote this one. So I wanted to check it out. I haven't really heard a lot about it. I don't really know what it's about. It kind of, honestly, based on the back, it's giving very similar vibes to To Kill a Kingdom. So hopefully it's not like too similar. To Kill a Kingdom is like a pirate mermaid vibe. And I don't think this is the same, but in To Kill a Kingdom, the girl is the princess of the sea and the guy is part of the royal family and this is slightly giving those vibes it says Celestra is heir to a powerful magic locked away in a tower by a cruel king her destiny is to foretell death and harvest doomed souls to feed his immortality Ew. okay and then it says Nox is a soldier who has spent years plotting vengeance on the crown now he's determined to steal the king's immortality and kill his entire court starting with Celestra so it's like enemies to lovers I'm assuming same as Tickler Kingdom but it's fine obviously it's a total different setting but I feel like that whole enemies to lovers and like royalty vibe is similar but I'm really excited I really loved the writing in Tequila Kingdom and obviously the storyline as well it felt so magical and I love it when fantasy books just feel feel magical so hopefully I feel the same about this one but we'll have to wait and see I've had my eye on this one since I finished To Kill a Kingdom so I'm very excited to finally have it in my hands and then the last book from Big W is the one that I didn't initially go in looking for but I saw it and I was like I have seen TikToks about this which is always my downfall it's always TikToks or YouTube videos or something but I ended up picking up An Anatomy of Songs by Megan White Megan White I want to say Megan but I could be wrong Ooh, the map looks really pretty if I'm remembering correctly this author is Australian 
Australian. Could I be wrong? I'm pretty sure the author herself has popped up on my TikTok for you page where she's like gone into bookstores looking for her book and like pointing it out and then like signing copies and stuff. So I don't know. When I saw this, I was like, I've seen that cover. I know that book. And I didn't realize it was available in Big W. And then while I was in Big W, I looked it up on Goodreads and it has like hardly any reviews, which is always so interesting to me. Whenever I look up a book on Goodreads and there's like not a whole lot about it, it always <laughs> makes me more intrigued to read it because you just never know when you're going to find a hidden gem in saying that it could be so popular and maybe the people that are reading it are just not like logging it or reviewing it on Goodreads. Let's see what Goodreads has to say about this one. Also, I will say when I was scrolling through reviews, there was one that was the reason that I bought this because the review says something along the lines of like, what more could you want? She's a healer by day, assassin by night. And I was like, okay, you've got me. I want to read about an assassin. Okay. So as I'm filming this on Goodreads, it has 29 ratings and 11 reviews and it's sitting at a 4.0, which is very interesting. I don't know if this is a debut novel. I don't know anything about this author. Okay. I found her TikTok. She is Australian and I don't know if she's written any other books. I can't tell but i'm just so intrigued by this on the back it says with dark twisting conspiracies treacherous ancestors and a hair raising night watcher stalking the streets the two fated enemies have far more to be wary of than each other so i'm assuming enemies to lovers obviously fantasy it wasn't in the ya section so i'm assuming it's adult i'm hoping it's not too spicy but i really have no idea what it would be like i'll have to obviously let you guys know when i pick it up if you've read it let me know your thoughts but yeah just very interesting and then obviously i went to Dimmix. I really don't know whether I like Dimmix or QBD better, but I did have a Dimmix gift card, so Dimmix was my choice for today. Like I mentioned, I also got three from here. I'll start off with the one that's like the most boring, and that is The Golden Enclaves by Naomi Novik. The only reason why I say this is boring is because I've already read this one. I just wanted to get my own copy for my library. I read this earlier this year, and I own the first two in the series, but I read the third one from the library because I was waiting for the edition to come out that would match the first two that I have in the series. And obviously the third one came out in the correct edition to match with my other copies. So now I have my complete trilogy, which I'm so happy about. And also while I was checking out, the lady who was serving me was like, oh my gosh, I love this series so much. And I was like, oh, I've actually already read it, but I was just waiting to buy this copy of it. And she's like, oh, you've already finished it. And so we were discussing like the ending or we discussing the characters. And we were just like geeking out for like two minutes over this series and over this book. And it was just so fun bonding with a literal stranger who I had never met before and we were just having such a great conversation and we were both just like so excited about it. And I was just like, wow, I love this. I love humans. I love reading. I love that we can connect over something so almost like silly because it's just ink on paper. Like it's not really that deep, but it creates automatic connection with other people. And that is just so special. Anyway, I'm very happy to complete my trilogy on my shelf now. And I definitely recommend this trilogy. I really enjoyed it. It's dark academia and it's probably one of my favorite like school settings that I've read in a book. The the concept of the school itself is fascinating and the concept of the trilogy as a whole is just so well done. The first book is called A Deadly Education by the way if you want to check it out but yeah it's just so good. Then the next book that I decided to pick up I have been debating whether or not to buy this since it came out because obviously I've seen some pretty pretty bad reviews <laughs> of this book and it really put me off which is fair enough like of course if you see bad reviews from people that you trust it's not gonna really make you excited to read a book however in saying that I really 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 loved Funny You Should Ask which is the other book by this author or one of the other books by this author I should say and I just want to give it a chance and see for myself and also this cover like I just really really love the cover and I was like I I just want this on my shelf even if it sucks <laughs> which we'll see I don't really know what this is about I think it's about two famous people and that is quite literally all I know oh second chance romance I do love second chance I'll obviously keep you guys updated I don't have high hopes for it but I am very interested to see what I think and then lastly I kind of forgot that this got published in Australia and so when I saw it on shelves I was like oh my gosh this is so exciting I've been waiting for this to be published in Australia for the longest time but it's another romance and it is The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. I have seen so many good reviews about this. Like I said, this wasn't published in Australia for the longest time. I have no idea why. I have a feeling maybe an Australian publisher just like didn't pick it up for a while, but I think it was picked up by Hachette, which I'm just so excited about. They also had the other one by this author there, which is called Hello Stranger, I think. But I thought I'd start off with this one and see how I feel. I think this is just supposed to be really fun, fairly lighthearted, like just like a cute rom-com. I don't think it's too spicy from what I've heard. And I'm pretty sure the girl is the bodyguard and the guy is 
famous but they're like fake dating because he doesn't want people to know he has a bodyguard potentially. I could be wrong, I don't know. On the back it says, Hannah might look like a kindergarten teacher, but the truth is she's an elite bodyguard who could kill you with her bare hands. Jack's an impossibly handsome, world famous actor who has everything, including a corgi breeding stalker. Interesting, okay, we'll see how this goes. I'm excited about it. The other book that I really wanted to get, but I just like could not find in store is What Happens After Midnight, I think that's what it's called, by K.L. Walther, potentially. <laughs> I could be wrong with that as well. It's a new release by that author and she was also the author of The Summer of Broken Rules, which I enjoyed. So I wanted to get that, couldn't find it. I might have to order it online. And then the other ones that I was really, really considering getting when I was in store were Red Rising, but I was just like, I just don't think I'm in the mood for that right now. And then also Renegades by Marissa Meyer, I think. Were there any others that really stood out to me? I mean, there were so many that I wanted to get, of course. I feel like those were the two that I was like, really like I almost got and then I just like didn't but I might get them online or go back another time and get them in store but I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you want to see more book shopping videos in the future I feel like my TBR cart is now just like refreshed renewed we have some new fun titles on there and now I'm really excited to do my next TBR jar chooses my reads for the month because we have some new options but yeah I hope you guys had fun watching this it was so fun to film obviously I literally got to go book shopping can't get much better than that but I love you guys so much I hope you have a great day or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Goodbye.